Hi, this is April. Welcome to my channel, All The Things. Today we're going to talk about cotton yarn uh, because there are so many different cotton yarns out there. I thought it might be helpful if we talked about what cotton yarn is good for what. So let's start with this beauty, right? Chia. This, and that was upside down. So that was super awesome. So this is cotton crema cotton and this by loops and threads i just got this at michael's it was on sale i did not pay 7.99 it was on sale okay so don't judge anyway um this stuff 324 yards in this which is a lot of worsted weight yarn if you want to take a look there's the the weight of it it's it's i mean it's a lovely like yarn it feels amazing and this yarn this is called oceans celadon Yes, if you want to know the name of the color. Anyway, this is 87% cotton, 13% nylon. Now, this yarn feels delicious. I would totally wear something made out of this yarn. Um, and it's super lightweight. It's a, I don't know if you can see that or not. Well, not if I don't put it at the camera, you can't. See, it's not, it doesn't unroll easily. Is that a chain spun? It's actually a chain spun yarn. So that's pretty cool. Um, it is chain spun, so it's not gonna, it's gonna be just super lightweight, no matter what you make out of it. Um, and so 80, so you could, with this stuff, make pots and pans, dish towels, any, you can't make pots and pans out of yarn. Hello. You can make pot and pan holders However, April, yeah, I have a master's degree. Can you tell? No. Anyway, um, you can make pot holders out of this. You can make dish towels, anything like that, but it feels so good. Don't do it. Make yourself something pretty out of this type of yarn. This is called Kobu. And this is from uh, Lion Brand. And this is a lovely, lovely 232 yards PS. Let me just show you the weight of this guy. It's like a three, lightweight three. It's beautiful though, isn't it? And that's such a great color. Oh, I love it. I love coral colors. Anyway, um, oh, and this is approved by Knitted Knockers. I don't know if you guys know about Knitted Knockers from Lion Brand. In Knitted Knockers, it's, it's a big um, organization. And what they do is they use yummy feeling yarn like this and they make prosthetics for women who have had breast cancer. Um, because not everybody wants reconstructive surgery. I had reconstruction. Um, I had breast cancer in 2016 and I'm a survivor. Yeah, because I'm badass. That's all I can tell you. But anyway, um, and I wanted breasts. I'm at the time I was 50, 50, 50. <laughs> um, and I wanted, I just wanted breasts. I wanted to not have to worry about putting clothes on and having them hang in the right way. And, and I don't like bras. So now I don't actually have to wear one if I don't want to. <laughs> so, but anyway, that's what Knitted Knockers is. And it's a great organization. And if you contact them, they will tell you exactly what yarn they want people to use and how to make the prosthetics. So I've done it before and I think it's super cool and it's just a great cause. So anyway, um, enough about that. So this is 232 yards and it is a lightweight uh, three. So this has 51 cotton, 49 rayon from bamboo. So we're calling this a cotton bamboo yarn. Do not do, listen, and I'm sorry, I'm not looking at the right place. Listen, don't use this for your kitchen. It's just a happy yarn. It should it should be made into something lovely. Um, a beautiful shawl. And it feels, I just, I wish, it, touch a vision. See, we need touch a vision. I'm telling you, I'm going to come up with it. Probably not, but that's not the point. Um, so that is Kobu. This guy is from Hirschner's. I don't know if you've ever been to Hirschner's or not. I'm not affiliated with them. I will put the link down below as I will for Michael's and Lion Brand. I'll put pardon me links for all of the stuff down below. Um, but anyway, this is pastry panache yarn and it is a cotton yarn. It is a light three as well. Looky there. Yeah. Um, this color is called infinity pool. 
It's pretty. Isn't that pretty? So this cotton is 95 cotton, five nylon. Now it's 95% cotton. It doesn't, I mean, yeah, I could wear something out of it, but probably not gonna. Uh, this is gonna be perfect for making your kitchen stuff. If you wanna do uh, like a, a spa kit for somebody, you could absolutely use this. And I'm gonna be making a spa kit because I think I wanna give them out for Christmas this year, so stay tuned. I'm gonna have a tutorial for, for a full spa kit. Uh, okay, anyway, so this is also from Lion Brand, 24 seven cotton. And I actually, I won this in a giveaway from Alt Knots. I don't know if you've ever been over to Alt Knots. I will also link that down below. Um, Kayla is over at Alt Knots and she is cute as a button. She's total goth and just, yeah, she's, she's adorable. We clearly have different beliefs about things, but she makes the cutest crochet stuff and I absolutely adore her. So anyway, um, this is called Grass. Oh, super inventive lion brand. Anyway, 24 seven cotton is a four weight. Doink, doink, where is it? It's chain spun, look at that bad boy. So that means it's gonna be super lightweight. There's 186 yards in here, 170 meters. And this guy is 100% mercerized cotton. Okay, so if you don't know, I'm sorry, I'm having a hot flash. It's one of the things that happens with breast cancer. You know, they take it, well, mine anyway was estrogen positive breast cancer. So they take you off all of your estrogen, everything's like none is allowed in your body. So yeah, hot flashes. Anyway, um, so a mercerized cotton is a treated cotton. Um, they mercerize it and it actually will hold up longer than say this kind of cotton. Um, it just, or any other kind of regular cotton is if it's mercerized, it tends to be a bit stiffer. Although this is not that bad. Some mercerized cottons are like brr, super hard to work with, I think, but this will hold up. Uh, wash after wash after wash after wash. So great for your kitchen again, or for a uh, spa set thingy. Another cotton is, I love this cotton. And this is from, actually I got this at Hobby Lobby. And let's learn a little bit about, I love this cotton. Sorry, it's like falling apart. I don't even know what happened. It's super sad. Um, this is a uh, blah blah made in Turkey, if you occur. And what, why can I not find anything else on here? I know it's cotton. She says, I love this cotton. From Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. This is called Paris in June. Oh, I'm gonna go to Paris. Okay, anyway, I think it's 100% cotton. So it feels really good. I would absolutely wear a, um, a garment out of this. It's very, it's very, very soft. Lovely, don't waste this on your kitchen. Sugars and cream. So sugars and cream, sugar and cream is by Lily. There's also peaches and cream. I don't remember who has that one, but this is definitely a rougher yarn. Um, I don't, I mean, you could wear, again, like like this pastry panache, you could definitely wear something out of it, but there's other, there's other yarn that's better. So anyway, I'm using this to make my mom something. Um, I wanted to do it while I was in Michigan. I didn't get to it anyway. So this is called Mango Madness. This is, um, it's a four weight, 95 yards. And I believe this is 100% cotton. Oh, from Your Inspiration. So this is another, so you'll find this um, at Your Inspirations, which owns, Your Inspirations owns yeah, a lot. They own Lion Brand and stuff like that. Anyway, so this is a great cotton to use for your kitchen. Boing. And they have it in like a bajillion. And I know that's a real number. Um, they have it in like a bajillion different uh, 
colors. They have solids, variegated, all, all, all the stuff, all the things. <gasps> Wait, you're at all the things. Okay, so this is from Premier. It's called Just Maker's Twine. And um, I have a bunch of it. It in Premier, I'm trying to remember. I don't know if you can see back there, but all of those are just twine, just the twine. And it was like $13 for a bunch of these. Now from these, this kind of cotton is definitely gonna be for your kitchen. But what I started doing is I was making coasters out of them. I was messing around with different gauges and stuff, but you know, it's 100% cotton, so it's a great coaster. Uh, and I have so many different colors of them. I, I'm gonna make more coasters. I just have to design one that I really like because I haven't really found one that I really like. And so I'm gonna design one. And I'll let you all know what it is when I do it. So I have one more cotton here. And this is Scrubby Smoothie from Red Heart. Look at how patriotic that is. Um, so Scrubby Smoothie is definitely a cotton that you would want to use in your kitchen, although it's soft. I don't want to wear a garment out of it though. I have nicer cottons that I want to do that for. This is called Nautical. It is a four weight, 100% cotton. See, they even show like using it for a, a dishcloth or something. And you know, I would definitely use Scrubby Smoothie for uh, a thing, a thingy thing. Oh, you know what? Hang on one second. Hey, so I just ran um, to get scrubby cotton because I totally forgot it was cotton. Um, but this is also, if you want to do the um, a spa kit thingy, this stuff is would be awesome, especially for like the loofah, the loofah stuff. And um, yeah, so it's super, <laughs> it's not super soft, but it would be an amazing like back thing or if you wanted to make a soap holder thing out of this. And I'm gonna have both of those on the set that I'm designing. So stay tuned, I'm gonna have that. But these are both scrubbies. So scrubby smoothie and scrubby cotton. They're both 100% cotton, both completely usable for any type of spa, package that you want to make for somebody or um my head's cut off oh no let's move you up a little bit uh or anything for the kitchen go nuts go wild with it um if you're mad at your husband you could make him a pair of underwear out of the out of the scrubby cotton and let him know that you're upset and you want him to wear these underwear because it's going to be scratchy and uncomfortable but other than that, I know I've never done that. Stop, people, you can't ask me those questions. You can ask me those questions. And honestly, I would tell you if I had. So anyway, um, I hope you have an amazing day. And thanks so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, uh, and come back and join me for more yarn stuff, more everything. And my whole system is going down and tilting. So I'm going to go. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.